The University of North Carolina has been the proud home of kidney physicians and scientists for many decades. The UNC Kidney Center began in 2005 as a collaboration with the Department of Pathology headed by Dr. Charles Jeanette. The mission of the UNC Kidney Center is to advance the science and practice of kidney care, not only in our local region, but nationally and internationally. Kidney disease nationwide is probably on the order of one out of every nine individuals, but in our area in which there's substantial ethnic minorities, the incidence of kidney disease is far greater. The two areas that the Kidney Center focuses on uh, the most are glomerular diseases or autoimmune diseases that affect the kidney and blood vessels. And the Kidney Center also focuses on studies of the epidemiology of kidney disease. The research that we've done at UNC in ankylosis and other forms of glomerular disease has definitely improved the outcome of patients who have this category of disease. We're at an important juncture in glomerular disease in particular and also glomerulonephritis where there is now enough understanding about cellular and molecular mechanisms that cause the diseases that much more targeted therapy is on the near horizon. So I'm very optimistic that at UNC and many other medical centers throughout the world, we're on the cusp of some major advances in more effective, less toxic therapy for patients with kidney disease. Our research portfolio includes both translational and clinical studies that deal with autoimmune kidney diseases. There are groups of patients that have really never participated in clinical studies, and in particular, work that Dr. Fleith has been doing in our dialysis units has focused on trying to get patients and dialysis clinics to be ready and to actively participate in clinical research protocols. My dialysis research program is focused on improving the outcomes of patients largely on maintenance dialysis, um, but also includes some patients with advanced kidney disease. Uh, we use a range of methodologies, including epidemiologic studies, qualitative studies, and clinical trials to try to find ways to improve both clinical outcomes as well as patient reported outcomes. We have concentrated on being patient-centered. We're trying to design our physical environments to be patient-centered. And when patients come into the hospital, we want to assure them that they're going to be taken care of in a very patient-centered manner. I have a rare chronic autoimmune disease called vasculitis. The UNC Kidney Center is doing very significant work that impacts patients' lives in a number of ways. First of all, you get state-of-the-art care here at UNC. You have access to clinical trials through various uh, national uh, clinical trial groups. As well, it's important to patients that we're being seen in the clinic, but across the street, there are labs where important research is going on into the causes of vasculitis that have the potential to help, help uh, scientists and doctors to develop new treatments for the disease. This is an unusual organization because pediatric nephrology and adult nephrology are completely intertwined. So the pediatricians are very much part of our day-to-day -day culture. And in reality, that transition is one that we have worked on a lot. Chronic kidney disease is very prevalent in children. While we are still investigating the true burden of disease in this population, especially the earlier stages, we understand that children represent anywhere from one to five percent of the population of people requiring kidney replacement therapies. When you look at the mortality in this population, that's what startles us the most. A child with end-stage kidney disease runs the risk of dying from cardiovascular complications at a rate of a thousand times more than their age match peers. Another mission of the UNC Kidney Center is to educate the citizenry of the state of North Carolina about kidney care. Most people know about cancer, cardiovascular disease, 
but unfortunately many people do not know about kidney disease. So what we do is we have an outreach van where we can go to communities where there's a high prevalence of kidney disease and educate them and screen uh, individuals who are at risk. We hope to get them into care early to help mitigate the progression of chronic kidney disease. The Kidney Center is growing each and every year and expanding areas of interest, not only in areas of education, translational research, and new forms of therapy. We're getting ready for tomorrow by the work that we're doing today.